Hi, now let's have a look at the purpose and context of project planning. Um, over time I've become convinced of the importance of understanding the purpose of what you're doing and the context in which you're doing it. Uh, it matters a lot, particularly the context. So let's look at the first thing, the, the purpose. The purpose is to determine what work needs to be achieved, what resources are needed to achieve it, and what constraints and risks threaten achieving it. Okay, that's the whole purpose. So what have you got to do, what do you have to do it with, and what will threaten you doing it? That's the whole point. The context objectives. Uh, first thing is what needs to be developed. This is a software system, so what, what is the system that you're supposed to develop? Uh, are you going to develop a system or are you going to modify a system or is it going to be a mix of both? So that's the first objective. The next objective is uh, the come from the stakeholders. So who are all the stakeholders? And there's more than one. There's frequently a list of about 20 or so. Um, so your, your job is to identify those stakeholders and their objectives and sort out a list of those that matter and you're going to pay attention to and those that you're not. Constraints, you have constraints. On this particular subject, you have constraint of time, and you have constraint of resources, there are only so many people in a team, there's only so, so many hours and weeks for you to finish this in, and uh, a budget, there is no budget, so you get zero dollars. But uh, for most projects, you have uh, constraints of schedule, budget, personnel, resources, and you have constraints of knowledge and skills. You can do something about those last two, but um, you start with those constraints. Risks, you should identify the risks. Uh, there are technical risks, that is the risk coming from tools, components, infrastructure, that kind of thing. Um, are they present? Uh, do you know how to work them? Is a new release coming out? Are they reliable? These are the risks of those. There are project risks, scope changes, schedule changes resource changes. Um, invariably in commercial projects the scope will change, people put in new requirements, uh, and the delivery date will change. And it, most of the time it's bought in. Uh, it's seldom that you get more time than you thought you were going to have. There are risks associated with knowledge. Now, I'm not convinced that knowledge ought to be uh, held under the general category of risk. I think it should be treated separately. But for the moment, let's say knowledge or lack of knowledge is a risk. Now what you must do is identify what knowledge you need and haven't got, and what the effect of that might be and what you're going to do about it. Okay? So that comes under risks for the moment. The context of this situation is that um, there are important objectives in, in this specific situation. And some of those objectives are uh, career ambitions. These are the objectives of the team, the career ambitions, the personal development type things. So what is it if people want to uh, learn or develop or do, uh, get exposure to, in this particular project? There is capability development. So, um, I mean, projects are not undertaken only for profit or only for pleasing the client. Sometimes a project will be undertaken so the, the organization builds up some skill in doing that particular type of project. So there is that capability development type of um, objective in it as well. The market development, skill development, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes a project will be undertaken simply to, to attract a particular client. You want to do a great success over here to um, gain another project over there. So sometimes the secondary objectives, or you might be doing a project at a loss simply to gain that first that, uh, client as a, an ongoing customer. So they, they tend to be the project-specific uh, context 